good afternoon. <clears throat> I am now live. At least it says I'm live. So hopefully you'll find me. I'm going to um, just kind of hang out that for a minute. It's uh, Wednesday, February the 1st, long about 1 o'clock. So happy you can join me. Checking my volume. So, all right, let's um, make sure. I just hope that my um, electricity doesn't go off. We are in the middle of an ice storm, and I want to turn off captions there. It makes things just a little bit iffy, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. There's settings. All right, so today I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to break it up into two. Um, so that so I can not take so much time and that way it'll be easier if you're needing to uh, see these cards in order to assemble them. They were part of my card class last week. Yes, last week. And I've got uh, some to-go options so they're going to want to see these. I am using one of the free stamp sets called In the Country. It is a cling stamp set, which means it's the red rubber stamp set. There are two stamps in this one. And they're not usually some that I go to, but they were free. So once I got them for free, then I needed to figure out how to use them. And Pinterest can be your best friend. I'm part of a team, so I also see examples created by uh, members of that team. And I found one that I thought would be appropriate and I've made it a sympathy card. This set's called In the Country. Um, I find that I'm needing some sympathy cards and this scene is just one of those peaceful down a country road where you want to go when you just want to commune with nature and be close to the Lord. Just drive down a county road. You might not want to do it today though. Tree limbs are falling everywhere. This was an opportunity to watercolor. My card base today comes from uh, a set called Good Things Cards and Envelopes. It was an add-on for the Paper Pumpkin uh, month before last, and I, I got two sets, so I needed to use them. And it has a little bit, like the texture is printed. It doesn't feel pebbly, but when you look at it up close, it, it has texture and it's white on the inside and then the back is also the gray so it was a chance to use those card bases I thought it looked really pretty with um, my color choices for this card we're going to use watercolor paper and I have cut it out with the decal size and our little piece of background Sahara sand is just cut with a straight edge. I'll give you those sizes. And then one of the labels from the stitch label dies. Remember those are circles and squares and then some tags. So this piece is cut. I'd rather just measure it for you. Two and three quarters by four. Well, this one is four and uh, sixteenth. I think you could get away with four, but part of the reason that it might be that odd is to get it just big enough to make a nice little frame around my deckled piece. So if you do join me, if you would comment that you're watching, hopefully I can see it in either one of my comments. My iPad is being sketchy today. I'm not surprised. Our electricity went off last night for eight hours it went off about eight o'clock boom just went off and it was very dark and there were no lights in the neighborhood i live out in the country so you could look outside and you could see the glow of lights to the north which is where the closest 
community town is. I'm going to stamp that background in um, stays on ink. This is actually not the exact color that we have. We have a brown stays on ink. And it stayed on back order so long that I I just went ahead and got my own stays on from Hobby Lobby, I think. So the color is saddle brown. It's one of the few non-stamping up items that I use. And you stamp it in stays on because we're going to watercolor. And if you stamp in our regular inks, they are um, water-based and they will run. And your colors then won't make you happy because it will cause them to bleed. So that in itself is very pretty. And it, it, since it is stamped in a, in a brown color, when you're... Okay, I can tell in person that it's not black. Now, the thing about the stays on ink, you also have to use special cleaner with it. And it stays on cleaner. <laughs> so you just rub it on your stamp. And yes, it gets all over the cleaner. And then I just use uh, a wet wipe wipe that off I think if you use our regular cleaner it would harden especially if you're using the scrubbing cleaner then I don't mind using my chamois to go ahead and get the rest of the ink and that off and I know you're like why is she cleaning her stamp in front of me well, you know what happens. You lay it aside, and you touch it, and you go, doggone it, I got ink all over myself. <clears throat> so we're going to uh, color with the watercolor pencils. And if you'll remember, we have two sets of watercolor pencils. Assortment 1 and Assortment 2. I had my Assortment 1 forever. There's not even a date on it. But I wanted colors... They're different colors, which that's a good thing. You, you probably have to own both sets to get the assortment that you would like. And I am going to use Old Olive. And the nice thing about it, it does have the color on the pencil. And with watercoloring, you don't have to color it in perfectly. You just put some color on here. And we're going to use the blender pens to blend those colors. And it looks like there's probably different kinds of trees. So I may color this one a little differently than I colored my original one. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the old olive in the grass, even though I'm going to color the grass garden green. Because that's another neat thing about watercoloring. You can mix your colors. I tried coloring this, um, the grass. I don't really like the color I use there. So, because I get to make a few more of these cards, they can all be different. So, today's updates from Stamping Up. There is a new kit. It's a little 3D item, a home decor item. Pretty cute. has flowers. You can assemble that. I did not uh, print out a flyer for that. And I'm going to go ahead and put, this is uh, Coastal Cabana. Let's see what color, that's what color I colored the sky. But you know what? I think I want Bommy Blue. And that's this one. I think I did Coastal Cabana on mine. Because, you know, the sky isn't always just balmy blue. Today, ours is very cloudy, very dark, very gray. And when I sat down here, we had freezing rain. When I did mine, I actually had not cut out with the deckle dye yet. Okay, put that one back in there. Let's see. 
go with the garden green. What other greens do I have? Granny apple. Granny apple's pretty bright. I don't think we're going to granny apple it. But if we mix our garden green with our old olive, we're going to create kind of our own color. So I'm just adding color. And another update. The celebration offerings, you know, those are the products that you can earn for free, like this stamp set. I got it with my $50 plus order that I placed in January. They've added some more items. And I've got a printout. Let me get my trees colored in. Of what they've added. Embossing folders, some papers, some embellishments. And they've actually added a bundle. If you don't have the Eden's Garden Bundle and you place a $100 order, that would get you stamp sets and the dies. And then the embossing folders into the clouds and the Hive 3D. The paper is called Enjoy the Journey. It's current right now in the new mini catalog. This white frayed ribbon, it's a wider ribbon, but it's really pretty. It's nice to tie gifts and um, you can put it around cards you just can't really tie a bow then there are two of the kits they're offering kindness cards and let's party treat packaging and two punches so all of these at the top these nine are with your $50 order and then the bundle is with your $100 and I just noticed when I printed this you get two rolls of the ribbon for your $50 order and there's usually 10 yards of ribbon on a roll. Let me see if this one has 5 or 10. Because I just bought a new one. Um, find the right spot. It's, it has 5 yards. So that's what I got. I got that and in the clouds embossing folder and a package of Enjoy the Journey. I'm not really in love with that Enjoy the Journey, but like everything else once you get it in your hands you fall in love with it and i just now noticed the decorative masks i'm not very good with those you use your lending brushes you can use uh, the embossing paste there are some creative people that i have seen do some pretty amazing things okie dokie let's keep coloring i think i did the basic gray for my fence post you could do them brown but i wanted to do my brown in the dirt that's in the middle of the the drive and this doesn't have to be exact I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm just kind of throwing some color at it because the magic is going to be when you start using the blender pens and there's a thing or two you need to know about that because if you just start blending, you're going to mix your colors all up. So you kind of have to go like I'm coloring it a little bit at a time. And then clean your pen. I'll show you how to do that. Between colors. I have three pens out here because uh, I think some of mine are getting dry. So to make sure it's clean to start with, you just brush it. And I'm going to start with my sky. And you can see immediately because it's uh, wet. Now they're not soaking wet. They're damp. And you just start pulling the color. And you blend it. So I hope you can see it because it's magic. See how I accidentally got a little bit of green in that? So my sky has a bit of a green tint right there. And I want to pull some color down right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's the sky. So it's magic. Kind of like heat embossing. Let me just go to the other end. And let's do fence posts. Remember, I colored those with that gray. 
and if you want it darker after you've add after you've blended you can go back and add some color but you can see how that's just blending out and I'm going to work on the dirt here I have a friend who lost her mom this week and we just lost one of our church people so all of a sudden I need sympathy cards I'm gonna do the trees next but it's like with all cards you kind of need uh, in your arsenal birthday cards get well cards sympathy cards All right. so what I'm going to do because that was the old olive these places where I've added old olive I'm going to go ahead and blend them while I've got that color on my pen it'll blend with the garden green just fine but I want splotches of different colors don't really want it all blended out. Now I'll go back and do the garden green. And you can kind of tell where you've been, where you haven't been, based on how the colors look. That's just going to be a nice I believe I want my um, edges further over here so I'm going to add a little bit of color and blend it in I'm just going to use old olive and just Give it some just filling in the edge more than anything else because it looked kind of blank. Like an adjoining feel there. Mm. I maybe should have left it alone, but I had already moved the sky out. So I'm like, hey, I need to. And I'm going to add another layer to my fence posts. They've had a chance to dry. Because you don't really want to. The nice thing, I'm using watercolor paper. It has some texture. It holds up to the dampness. It doesn't come apart. Our regular card stocks, when you start putting too much water on them, they do start kind of falling apart. So occasionally you can get away with just hitting it with these blender pins. But if you're going to work with the color very much, you're going to need to use the watercolor paper. Okay, I think what I want to do, my sky is still too streaky. So I'm going to go back and kind of blend it a little more. There you go. And I'm top A, so let's put these back where they belong. Basic gray goes back in this one. I think that's all in there. It has a color coat on the back, so what's the good of just sticking them all back in where they don't belong? And then whenever you're looking for a particular one, early espresso goes back in here. See how long did that take? Two seconds. All right, so I'm going to mount that. And because those blender pins are not saturated wet, I don't have to wait for it to dry. 
Now if you start using the blending brushes that have water in them, you do have to be careful about how much water and letting it dry so it doesn't, you know, run and that kind of thing. Alright, let's put this on with some dimensionals. Give it a little bit of pop. So what free celebration item have you gotten this time? You might notice I have a host code covered up, up here. If you see something that you would like and you want to place an order, I will put this host code in a link and it will be added together. There's nothing special about host codes except that, excuse me, kind of offers me some opportunity to restock with the rewards. And I'm going to stamp this with heartfelt sympathy. And I'm just going to do it in memento black. Nothing fancy there. Almost got a halo. Touched it ever so slightly. But it's not bad. And I mounted it flat because then you could definitely tell the difference. You could tell that the scene was mounted on dimensionals. And then the little bit of pop of bling right here. These are retired, but I needed to use them because I overpurchased and I have another whole set of them. Are the uh, gold adhesive back swirled eyes. I need to get this little sticky out of there. And I kept looking at it. That, I didn't want a ribbon because I didn't want it to be frou-frou-y. You know, that's a technical term in the crafting world. But these were just the right amount of bling. This can be for a man or a woman if you try to personalize your what you send. Well, God, adhesive I'm trying to get rid of. Funny how those things, they won't stick on your card sometimes, but then you end up with them on your fingers and you can't get rid of them. Or in the carpet. Here at my crafting desk, I'm on carpet and there are sticky places. My inside sentiment comes from a stamp set called Inspired Thoughts. If you don't have this stamp set, this is very, that's where I got the with heartfelt sympathy, sympathy, and then sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. So you have your sentiment and a, an inside verse. Um, sending healing thoughts your way, thinking of you on your special day. There's a Christmas stamp, peace, joy, and love. So inspired thoughts. That's in the annual catalog. It's a great addition to your collection because we all need sentiments, inside sentiments for sure. I know there are times when I get a card finished, excuse me while I stick my head in front of you, and I'm like, uh, what am I gonna put on the inside? And I didn't do anything fancy because I like to write notes in my sympathy cards. There's always a memory, or something you want to say about the person because I'll be sending it to my friend and I'll be able to say something about her mom personalize it so that's the first card I wanted to show you today that garden green just isn't my favorite color on this card but that's what I went with so that's what I got I appreciate your time um, like I said, there are new offerings for celebration that you can get for free. So that's an awesome thing. And um, new kit offering that you need to check out. 
and if you have any questions just let me know until next time see you later